The update is finally here, at least on test run. We were waiting for this, and uh, it came out today on a Tuesday. So luckily this did come out on a Tuesday, because if it came out on a Monday or a Wednesday, I would not be able to make videos, at least on the first day that it came out. If it came out tomorrow, for instance, I yeah I wouldn't be able to <laughs> record it at all, because I have class all day. But luckily it came out on a Tuesday today, so I am able to cover it. And this is the test room. When I first looked at it, and I still have the same kind of feelings now because I really haven't gotten into it, but it doesn't seem like a whole lot of stuff. Like, I can scroll through it pretty quickly, but they did say that they were going to try to limit the updates to bite-sized chunks. I think that was something, some kind of wording like that is what they used. So, not too much going on here, but um, still, at least we're getting something, and if they do it in smaller you know, test room, smaller chunks, then I hope that we get test rooms more often. So that's kind of the, the hope right there, the fingers crossed for that one. But here we go, update notes for the test room, which is currently online right now. So diplomacy forged on a party barge. Captain Avery's dream is coming true. Skull Island is going to be a republic. That is the video that they posted yesterday about that with Avery's new quest. So... If you've completed the quest, Guns Gold, I'm not sure where that quest is. You could look it up, but um, I've definitely completed all my max level characters. And then uh, he'll take you across Skull Island and uh, always guide you back to Zeke's party barge. So it's Zeke. If it's Prospector Zeke, I mean, is it going to be Prospector? I mean, why not? Why would they name two people Zeke? It has to be Zeke. I don't see Zeke in the picture, but seems like he's running this show with uh, the party barge. So interesting once you complete avery's initial quest every 24 hours the diplomats of the party bars will offer you a level banded repeatable quest and it'll give you some rewards some of the rarest jewelry and totems from around the spiral so some potentially good gear if they're rare i'm assuming that they're going to be good and you can do that every 24 hours i'm not sure like how worth it's going to be after you get some of that like some of the gear but we'll test it out we'll take a look at it um, today, I do plan on doing these initial Avery quests, or at least some of them if I can, and post that a little later after you see this video, so that's what I'm hoping for, but I'm not sure how long these uh, first initial quests are going to be, but once you complete that, you can go to the party barge. I mean, it seems like there's a lot of quests because there's like the different diplomats from uh, the worlds, which we already kind of talked about previously, like the Polaris guy and Marley Bone and everything, so... That's uh, that's an interesting little piece. I mean, this is, out of everything, I'm just going to say, this is the thing I'm most excited for, the new quest. So, I'm, uh, I'll am i be doing that first. Um, then you get a badge for that, and you can go back to this every, you know, every day, I guess, every 24 hours, and see what's new. I guess maybe there's going to be different people that kind of show up. So, it seems like it's going to be a random thing. Like, you go there, and there could be a vendor... There could be, I mean, maybe there's different vendors that could be there at different times. I mean, it's kind of like what they have with the clandestine trainers. So, there are like these secret trainers that would only appear, like, a different one would be there every hour. So, it seems like it's something like that. And it might change every 24 hours in this case. So, we'll have to check that out. And uh, I'll be doing that in a video later today. I don't know if we'll make it to the party barge. Hopefully, if it's kind of short, but... I'm actually hoping it's not short because I want it to be long, but <laughs> we will see. Uh, practice ship PvP, that is something that they did talk about, and it's something I will try, but it's not something that I'm going to be, like, super excited for because I just want to see what it's like. I'll probably do a video just looking at it, seeing how it, you know, <laughs> like how it fares, how you actually, like, go into the combat and fight someone else. But, yeah, ship combat, uh, PvP, I guess, is what you would call it. And there's a quest from Mickey that you can get in order to do that. So we will have to try that out at some point in a different video. And I guess that's what this uh, video that they created for it, this portal that's going to be next to the other portal for the Pirates Regatta, this one is going to be for the combat, the PvP. So you can do that if you're uh, looking forward to that. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what that's like. But it should be interesting. I'm just more interested to see how it feels like how the combat actually goes with a uh, uh, ship pvp i don't know we will see uh team of ledger so not kiosk instead in pirate it's the team of ledger so that's going to be added in to skull island 
it's right where the docks are so pretty uh pretty easily seen and i mean it's basically the same team up that we've seen with uh, wizard 101 so you can help other people i'm sure they have badges for it and that kind of thing so team up is there and then of course pirate 101 has to get emojis too there's going to be emojis for every class and probably some extra ones like a skull skull face icon okay so that's uh, the exact same as wizard 101 i would have to go in the game to actually see what the different emojis are but they do exist and uh we'll, we'll take a look at it i'm not gonna you know spend a lot of time on that but um it's kind of like we're getting things in pirate now that we've had in wizard for a little bit uh team up's been in wiz for a while emojis are fairly new but i'm sure it's pretty easy to add emojis into pirate as well so they decided to do that and then um the last thing is auto companions basically you can have your companions if you turn on a setting you can have them fight automatically you don't choose anything that they do they choose it by themselves so i don't know why you would really want to do this because i like telling my companions what to do that's what makes pirate pretty unique from wizard because you can tell your companions or i guess in wizard be your henchmen you could tell them or your minions you can just summon minions from certain classes you can basically in pirate tell them what you want them to do not something you can do in wizard but that is something that's unique to this game and I think it's really nice I mean it's good that you're able to tell them what to do uh, so automate I guess you would use this if you just wanted to go through things quickly I feel like I can go through things quickly by telling my companions what to do but I guess the options there for people that want to use it so there you go and then the other thing in the other category the main thing I guess increase max friends that's pretty pretty big for uh, subscribers if you have a membership but the other thing is Mu Manchu is no longer a free-to-play area. So I know people would do Mu Manchu because you could get to that area for free if you teleported your friends there and basically you could do Mu Manchu without having a membership. They're changing that, unfortunately. So, I mean, I guess it's, it's expected because it is in an area that is premium. That is basically all the updates. So if you think it's, you know, a small update, I agree. It is a small update. The main thing for me in this update is going to be these diplomacy quests. I am excited for those. I hope there's a lot to offer here because this right here is the big part of this update. If you're playing this, if you're looking forward to doing the test run, you're probably going to be doing this part. Maybe if you're into the, the ship PvP a little bit, I don't know. I doubt that many people are going to be doing team up. Team up is just a thing that is added in the test room just to try it out to see if it's working. And then it's just going to be a common uh, a common place for people to go and help other people or find help in uh, you know different places of the game because it kind of helps to consolidate all the different areas where people might need help because team up already exists but the team up ledger is going to allow people to be more open to having a, maybe a higher up pirate come and help you that's kind of what it is or just telling people to go in the team up at the same time and help you that way because that's a lot easier than having to pour it to the person and do that way so i don't know but that is basically it for these update notes. Uh, like I said, I am going to be doing this stuff first. So you will see a video later today of me going through the Avery quest. And I hope they're good. I really hope they're good. I'm excited to see this party bar to see if Zeke is actually the NPC that's going to be here. But it also said that it takes you all around of School Island. So I'm... I don't know I, I'm interested to see what this quest is about because I also don't even know what like the main storyline like what the like the real storyline for this is going to be like what are we actually doing here so that's something that we're going to be you know discovering a little bit later this is the real test room if you guys saw my video from uh, a few days ago then uh, you'll know that they had an accidental test room released and that one was not the real test room I don't know maybe they're preparing for something maybe they're, they're fixing things but this is the test drum, and uh, I will be uh, checking this one out at least a little bit. I don't know how many videos I'll actually make on it. It doesn't seem like there's going to be a whole lot of material here, but I don't know. I'll do my best to go through the main things and see what's new. So obviously, I'm a lot more excited for a wizard test drum, but hey, Pirate got something. It's been a long time. It really has been a long time. This is the first test drum that Pirate has gotten all year, so it's good for people to be excited 
But I know some people are going to look at this and be like, well, it's not a lot of things added to the test drum, especially for how long it's been since the last one. But at least we got something. I mean, it's been, actually, it's been a year, hasn't it? If we go over to, yeah, September, this is September 2017. The last update was September 2016, and it was the Dreadnought. This wasn't even a big update. Okay, that's it. We're going into the game. I will see you guys a little later today with the uh, video on Avery and the new quest. So leave a like, guys, are excited for this test drum. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you all next time.